friends welcome to friend of health today's episode is mnemonic series and this mnemonic is all about gram positive and gram negative bacteria many a times we get confused about this and most of the time this gram positive or gram negative bacteria had come for our competitive examination so let's move to the video Before moving to the mnemonic, let us see one question. So this question had come for one of the IPGT exam. So let us see the question. Which of the following is a gram positive bacterial infection? Option A is gonorrhea. Option B is plague. Option C is chancroid. Option D is anthrax. So this is the question. Now let us see what is the mnemonic for this gram positive and gram negative bacteria. So listen carefully, this is the mnemonic, all cocci are gram positive except Neisseria. So this is the mnemonic, all cocci are gram positive except Neisseria. So whatever bacteria that comes under cocci groups are gram, cocci group is gram positive except Neisseria. Neisseria is also a cocci bacteria but it comes under gram negative bacteria. Just for understanding purpose, let us learn like this. Next one is all bacilli are gram negative except Dekta. D A double T A. So all bacilli are gram negative except Dekta. So we have done with gram positive that is all cocci are gram positive except Neisseria. Next one is about gram negative bacteria that is whichever bacteria that comes under bacilli group is in gram negative group except Dekta. So Dekta bacteria means Dekta means that also we have to see what is that. So D for diphtheria. Diphtheria comes under bacilli bacteria. But it it is not gram negative. It is gram positive. So D for diphtheria. A for actinia mycosis. T for tetanae. That is clostridium tetanae. Next 2 T is there. That's why that I told. D A T T A. Or you can take it as data also. Okay. Next one is tuberculi. And A is and anthrax and a is last letter is a anthrax so either you can pronounce it as data or data whatever so d for diphtheria a for actinomycosis t for tetanus there are two t's or t for tetanus that is clostridium tetanus tetani. next one is tuberculi and a for actinomy i mean a for anthrax first a is actinomycosis next a is anthrax bacillus anthracis now let us see the question again which of the following is a gram positive bacterial infection? Option A is gonorrhea, B is plague, C is chancroid, and D is anthrax. So, which of the following among this is gram positive? We read for gram negative like this all bacilli gram negative except data. In that, A is anthrax. So, anthrax is the answer here. Now, we'll see some more thing regarding this uh, bacteria that is cocci bacteria. Just we'll see some examples which, um, which are the bacteria that comes under cocci group. We have diplococci, streptococci, staphylococci and tetrads and sarsinae. These are the bacteria that comes under cocci group. Tetrads and sarsinae are some rare bacteria like we don't read most of the time and this is not that important also. So, see that these Bacteria also, also comes under cocci group. So that's all about today's mnemonic. So we learned about what are the uh, bacteria that comes under gram positive group and what are the bacteria that comes under gram negative group. Many a times we get confused with this. So if you read like this or if you uh, study like this, you will not get confused, especially for your competitive examination. And also those UG students who write their microbiology exam. You usually get confused regarding gram positive and gram negative bacteria. So with this mnemonic it would be helpful. Thank you for watching. Kindly watch our other, other revision series also. And even high yield topics from that of different subjects. Hope it will be helpful for your coming AIPGT, UPSC and all other competitive examination. Thank you all.